The folder plate which appeared in last month was reproduced from the rare work on Occult Cosmogony, published in 1619 by Robert Flood, the English mystic and alchemist. It represents a speculative explanation of the phenomena of nature and of life, and while space makes it impossible for us to give a complete interpretation of it, the student who will study and analyze it in the light of the principles of mysticism and occultism will find it an endless source of information, and through the study of it may gain tremendous analogical powers. Briefly considered, the plate is threefold, spiritual, intellectual, and physical, as can be seen by the three grand divisions into which the globe is divided. The cloud at the top represents the Spirit of God and as the word Jehovah signifies, it represents the form-building power of God or that part which manifests in matter. The cloud represents the body of the celestial being whose vehicle is a globe and who materializes necessary organs from that globe as is shown in the hand which appears in the plate. In the center of the plate is the earth which is connected to the superior creature floating in the cloud by means of the female figure which represents the spirit of nature, the divine mother of created things. The stars represent the celestial hierarchies in the brain of nature while the lunar crescents symbolize the spirit of fecundity. The figure is standing with one foot upon the water and the other upon the land for she represents the two lower elements of earth and water. She is chained, twixt heaven and earth, dominion wielding, while the little monkey sitting on the globe represents the Adamic man in his coat of skins and the compass with which he is measuring symbolizes material limitations. All the kingdoms of nature are symbolized with their respective elements, qualities, powers, arts, sciences, etc., in the inner of the three worlds, while in the central sphere we have the solar system with its suns and powers. This is symbolic of the solar and macrocosmic man of our solar system, while outside of this sphere, consisting of planetary orbits, we find the stellar worlds which are the symbols of the other created universes of our chain. At this point the second sphere ends and we find the three rings of fire flames, which are symbolical of the three grand creative principles and the powers of the three worlds of nature. The inner circle of flames represents the form-building powers, the second row, the mind-building powers, the third or outer row, the spirit-unfolding powers. Examination will show that the little figures in these rings of flames differ. In the inner ring they have no wings and are material, in the second row they have bodies and wings and are therefore partly human, partly divine, in the outer circle they have wings but no bodies, symbolizing the fact that they are no longer connected with material things. The whole plate is symbolical of the human body, the creation of a germplasm, and the unfoldment of a universe and each student will gain from the study of it just exactly what he has within himself. The only way in which a student can judge his own advancement is by taking such a plate as this and opening it before him, sit down and say, what does this mean to me, and how will it help me to live better, think better, and more completely carry on the duties and responsibilities of life. If the student will then apply his own knowledge to the various parts which he can comprehend, he will find explanations of things which before he never understood. That is the reason for symbolism. It forces the student to express himself. For that reason we are not going into detail as to the full meaning of the plate, but the basic principles set down will enable the individual, if he will study it, meditate upon it, and apply the knowledge gained from daily experience, to use these ancient pictures as concentrating points by means of which he may measure his own limitations and breadth of knowledge. 
Practically the entire scheme of human evolution is shown in the picture as the divine life passed through the manifold expressions of nature, however, will be able to read the mystery it contains.